is this room on how to even go higher. Three types of people in the room. And I was all of these at one time. You know, so you got that fire on the inside that's burning you up. You know you want to do something bigger, but there's something holding you back. And I'll show you how to move that. So it's like there's just, you're there, you're just something's holding you back. What is that? We'll go over that. How about this? You got an idea of what you want to do, but you're stuck thinking you need to get a few things done before you get to it, and maybe you'll, you'll get to it someday. It's that perfectionist thing, like I'm, sh I'm sharpening the tools, you know, I I'm almost ready. I've got to get things just right. And then three, you want to do something, but you're just not really sure how to get it done. And we'll refer to that as fears and fogs. It's like I have this dream, I have this goal, but I see there's fears I have, and there's fogs and clarity that I have, and that's keeping me from doing that and getting to that, that goal. So some of the biggest achievements, like winning Mr. America, Mr. Universe, I won all these titles and building one of the largest clinics in the world, it came because I made a lot of sacrifices. And I'll just tell you that my sacrifices were, um, I was so focused and I wanted to achieve a certain level of patient volume and, and, and I don't even want to use the word success. It was what I thought success would be, number-wise, that in doing that, I wanted that so bad and I got so much gratification from that, it made me not want to do other things that were more important. You know, it, it made me not want to invest into my relationship. It made me not want to be the dad I could be. Because if I put the amount of effort and desire that I did into my practice, into my children, into my wife, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have dissolved a relationship. You know, um, it wouldn't be awkward talking to my kids on the phone. So I've been through this. And it really came down because I wanted something so bad, I cr it created sacrifices that I, I don't have a time machine. And so the thing is, you could do this without having to make those sacrifices like, uh, like I unfortunately did. So yes, I accomplished a great deal, but I still slipped into a depression because I didn't feel fulfilled. Because the day I hit these numbers and these, this status or whatever it was, it was very unfulfilling. It was because uh, I realized that happiness comes from the goals you set of meaningful things not uh, a certain accomplish, accomplishment or trophy. And that's how I developed the I Am Hero Project. So that's what, that's what I'm, I'm into now, what I'll talk to you guys about, what the I Am Hero Project is about. So that's why you're here today. Number one, to discover how to find true happiness, true happiness, um, not feel stuck in your career or life or both, and stop grieving your potential. Oh, that's such a good line. Like, when I get into like, how many of you in here feel that you may be grieving your potential? And a lot of times that, that is masked by a lot of symptoms. I'm gonna go over the symptoms that you may be thinking or feeling, and we'll get to the root cause of that, because you guys are people of cause. How to break through into, into the next level. And I told you why, because there's always, an, an, there's always a next level. There will always be, you always have to tell yourself, there'll always be another level. No matter how, like, no matter how great your goals may be, if your goal was you wanna write a book and sell 100 million copies, the day you do that, there'll always be another level. So there's never, you're never ever attaining that, you're always expanding. So like Jonathan, one of the people that, uh, that's, that, uh, that I coach personally, in just a year he discovered his pride for health, he grew an email list of 500,000 people and made $3 million in a year. Amazing, all right? And he did this because you know, he recognized that there was just something more for him. He just always knew that, and that's the hero inside I want you guys to be able to find and develop. It's all you, and it's really been there since you were a kid. It's nothing new. So if I was to summarize the entire premise of today, it would be this. How to find success beyond the material by creating meaningful change for the world while finding freedom and joy in how to become recognized for your unique abilities as well as monetizing what you truly love to do. I mean, it took me probably a week to, to write that, but that is really, that really summarized what, I, what, what my wish is for you and what we could do today together. So promise number one, I'm gonna show you how to skyrocket past your current level of success while having even more time with family and friends, more energy and drive without compromising your current standard of living. Also, we're gonna go over the, the one destiny killing X factor that holds heroes back from unleashing their highest potential and how to overcome it, not just once, but forever. And number three, how to use the I Am Hero Four Pot methodology to improve your mindset and health, revitalize your relationships, and amplify your business and work life. Sounds good? All right, good, let's do it. My goal for you is to leave with clarity. Clarity is huge, because the more focused you can be, like I, I read something where the sun could beat on a log, like a tree log, for a thousand years. 
But when you put a magnifying glass with that sun and focus that beam, what happens? It turns it on fire. So that's the same thing with the focus and clarity. The more clear you could get on what you are worthy of getting and doing, then things happen. So a clear idea on what you like to do in terms of reaching that next level of the success in your life, and a clear understanding of how you can move past anything that might be blocking you and how you can unlock your true hero.